Well, happy Wednesday and happy fall. It is dark in my office as I record this and I'm thinking about how it will be darker earlier and earlier these days as we head toward the winter solstice. We have just passed the fall equinox and it feels like many things I think during this pandemic time it feels particularly relevant to my life. A lot of you have shared how um, as you have been home more, you're noticing the seasons more distinctly. You're noticing exactly how your backyard changes or how the park out your apartment window shifts with the shifting of the seasons and the months. I've even noticed some unexpected uh, wildlife in my backyard. There's a fox I didn't know lived nearby and a hummingbird I didn't think we had in the yard. And so as we observe the fall equinox and we move into this next season, I know that I'm going to be feeling that um, in a particular way. And perhaps like me, you are welcoming fall and worrying about winter, wondering what it will be like to be in a pandemic in the cold months, which we haven't quite experienced yet here in the United States. We are going to be gathering next Tuesday evening for um, an Equinox gathering with Moonfire online. I hope that you might join us. We'll get together for just about an hour and share some Fall Equinox stories and legends and meditations and talk about what fall means and what the equinox means, how it brings a sense of balance into the world. I've had a good time planning that with the folks from Moonfire and I'm looking forward to being there and hope I might see some of you. Whether you join us or not, I invite you right now as fall begins to appear in our lives, I invite you to notice it, to watch for the changing leaves, to take a moment on your walk to see what looks different, to see the way that we are connected so deeply to the world around us and the particular opportunity that we have right now to slow down a little and notice. Happy fall. <laughs>